Okay, for advanced loops number 10, we need to get this banana and get the monkey up onto the platform and then figure out what will go in our loop. But this first part will not go in our loop. So we need to jump straight up, go forward one, two, and then we jump up one more. So that should have the monkey standing right here. And then if these four work the way we expect, we'll figure out what's going to go in our loop. But computer scientists break their problems into pieces and test each piece as they go. So that first piece worked the way we expected. So now this next part, figuring out our loop. To get all of these bananas, see how the monkey's standing below the banana? We want to get this banana and then be standing below the next one. So we're going to go straight up. Then we're going to go forward one, two, and then we'll be under the next banana. A lot of people don't take the time to test. Now, these first four blocks we know are not going in our loop. We're testing to see if these last three will work for our loop. If they do, that means we'll get this banana and be standing right here. So these first four you can see, now we're here. These are the three we're testing for our loop. So if we said to the monkey, do that again, jump straight up, go forward, forward, that would work, right? So those three are going in our loop. Straight up, forward, forward. Because we're kind of low on space, I'm gonna take those away. I like to generally leave them so I can copy, but I think we'd run out of room. We need to remember that our job is to not only make it to the treasure while collecting all the bananas, but to not crash into things. 